Good afternoon, everybody. Who saw the solar eclipse? Because I didn't. <laughs> I saw it. Everybody at my, my entire office, seven floors, like a couple hundred people left and was just surrounding the, the building, looking up at the sun with or without protection. <laughs> I was kind lenses. of outside when it was like a little bit darker. But I was worried about Eve. She was, she's fine. Eve's fine. Sarah's fine. America's fine. Um, I don't. The next one's not for another like. Do you, I think it was like another, there's another one in like 25 years or 24 years. But I wanted to tell you something that has to do with what we're doing today. An unintentionally planned fun trip. Well. This is definitely intentionally we're planned. In <laughs> yes, we're in the Polynesian. We're taking the monorail over to Magic Kingdom, which is the park we're going to today. And more specifically, we are gonna do the, the three mountains. We, we were got able to get fast passes for all three. Yes, which is what I was gonna say is one of my favorite parts about living here is when I go to work, I get a cup of coffee, sit at my desk, and if me and Sarah don't already have what park we're going to chosen. I usually either just choose one or I'm texting Sarah, I'm like, where should we go tonight? And I look for fast passes. And today, miraculously enough, it was like perfect, like six to seven, seven, eight, eight to nine, for basically for each of the mountains. So we're going on the Magic Kingdom mountain range. And we have to go through security now. Peter, why is there a change of scenery? The monorail's down. But they're using the big boats from Fort Wilderness. Oh, good. Excellent. Well, hopefully we'll get on this. So that's the second boat that has came and left since we got in line because the monorail is down. Everybody is taking the boat. So I'm going to go get us two s'mores to munch on while we wait. feel terrible walking back without a s'more for Peter. It was just marshmallows roasted on a stick. So I got to eat two marshmallows. But I couldn't bring him back one. So close. It's been an hour. We got across Seven Seas Lagoon, but now here's the the, the single uh, the security line. We gotta go all the way back here for now. But they're being thorough and safe. So. It's all you can do. Right. But this this would be a little bit of a wait. All the way back there. Then we'll go to the Magic Kingdom, and then we'll go on our three mountains, right? While we are over here, I might as well tell you two quick things. One, that was the fastest boat ride ever. I've never, I've been on those, they gave us one of the boats that are usually from Fort Wilderness to Magic Kingdom, and I've never seen it like go full throttle before, but it was super fast. And since we're over here, since we're all the way over here on the side of the Magic Kingdom, cool bench, cool walkway, cannot walk the Grand Floridian. Do not at the end of the night think that you can walk the Grand Floridian. No, don't even try. Because you're just going to be disappointed at the end of it. We thankfully don't know from experience. <laughs> yes, we just know from running around here, riding the monorail, and uh, you can see where it stops. Yeah. I mean, it's a nice walk if you just want to go do the walk, but don't go there hoping to get to the Grand Flutter in their Polynesian. <laughs> Welcome to our family time. We, we finally just ate dinner, and I walk in this place, and I'm starving. Um, I just checked my phone, Sarah. What time did it say I texted Dom? 6.30. And what time did I text him right after we parked at the Polynesian? 8 o'clock. It is 8 o'clock on the dot. It took us 1 hour and 30 minutes to get from the Polynesian that just goes to, to the like Magic Kingdom. Know, like that last time we took the ferry, it took us like 27 minutes. Right. And we could have like moved our car or tried parking at Contemporary to see if they would have let us. And walked over, but hey. You can be stuck worse places than the seven seas. Right. And it's not hot out, and there was a little bit of a breeze. It was a good time. 
So now we're gonna go do our mountains, right? Hopefully they'll let us uh, honor our fast pass for Space Mountain. I'm sure they will. But our Space Mountain fast pass has since expired. Sarah made the biggest discovery of the day. It was worth waiting six hours for. Look right there. Pumpkins. Looking in that window. Pumpkins. Pumpkins, pumpkins, pumpkins everywhere. I almost broke my ankle. Guess what? I mean, the first party is in four days. The first Christ Halloween party is in four days. It is fall in the Magic Kingdom. Now we just need our pumpkin spice latte. And 16 free tickets to uh, Not So Scary. The pumpkin leaves. Yes, we, we are missing the pumpkin lanterns over the lights on the street too. But they'll be here, I'm sure, within the next day or two. That just means we have to come to Magic Kingdom every day this week. We do something tricky. What are you going to do? Do you have it with you? It's in the backpack. I'm gonna leave our stickers that are like, I don't know if I ever showed them here before, but they're like the ride vehicle from all three mountains. I'm gonna leave it in the pouch so that when someone you should. puts it in, they're gonna be like, Best. I was silent almost the whole time because I was like scared. Like that's one of my that's my favorite ride in all of Disney World. And a lot of it has to do with how scared I am on it because I'm thinking my arms, my head, all of it's gonna get chopped off. Your head, your multiple heads. Yeah. But I will say, with today being the day of the eclipse, I think it is more dangerous to, to stare at where the picture is gonna get taken if you know where it is. Because I had a ring in my eye the whole ride. Oh, no. from the flash of the camel tail looking right at it. So Peter insists that he knew this, but I am just figuring it out that you're on Space Mountain because you're coming from another galaxy to arrive in Tomorrowland. What? I just saw a thing that said, welcome to Tomorrowland. Now all the advertisements make sense. Always got to be a story. Always. Are you sure that Five. you knew? Always. You promise? I promise. What's our next stop, Peter? Our next stop is my left, of course. Well, so you'll see there's some people on a log right there, and a cast member too, um, releasing, releasing their restraints because. Uh, we don't know yet if our three mountains are going to happen tonight because Splash Mountain's down. But they gave us a fast pass, but we can't use it on dwarfs or Peter Pan, so we're kind of weighing our options. At this point, who knows if it's going to come back up even tonight because it's so close to park close. I'd say this is making the best of a, of a sour situation. If you could even call it a sour situation, we're in Magic Kingdom. But everybody keep your fingers crossed that you'll see by the end of this video if we make it on Splash All Mountain. Three. <laughs> so we decided, uh, well we didn't officially decide, but it looks like we probably won't use our Fast Pass that they gave us. Um, with hopes that Splash we Mountain. We get off of Big Thunder and we just scroll right on. So we said why not try to get a, a decent spot for Happy Ever After, not too crowded, away from all the hustle and bustle so we can just scooch on over to uh, Big Thunder because by the time this is over it's going to be a Big Thunder time. Yeah. And then with the magic of Mickey, maybe we'll get on Splash afterwards. Yeah, and we've never sat here before. Never even thought about sitting over here before, but I would really recommend if like you're, I mean, it's a good view, but also like if you don't want to sit around and wait for two hours for a good spot. I will say this though, it's good for the fireworks. I can tell from where we're sitting. It won't be the best for the projections on the castle. Cause you can, as you can see, you only see like the top This is 
is like our own park. Everybody's going home. And we still got one fast pass and maybe a second. Reach out and find your... Get it, get it. This is a 10 minute wait, but we got our fast pass. We're gonna use it. And as of right now, it is 9.20, park closes at 10, and there are no boats going down Splash Mountain. But you never know. Disney Magic can... It's called what? Chickapin Hill. You're called Chickapin Hill. Splash Mountain's going down for two months, we just found out. Oh my god, a refurbishment! That was crazy. Well, there's not even water. Down the drop, there's water the drop. Okay. Trusty old Splash Mountain. <laughs> what? It's a trusty old Splash yeah. Mountain. So we did, I looked it up, it's true. In exactly a week from today, or six days from when you're watching this, August 28th is when Splash Mountain will go down for refurbishments until the middle of November. It's gonna open up for the holiday season and then it's gonna go back down after the new year. It probably needs a refurbishment and I'm super excited to see what it looks like after, like all the little little things that probably don't work right now probably will. But it's said to uh, know that after next week we can't go on until November and then after the new year it won't go on for a while but we also live here now so. We're I'm lucky all ones. Of, all the people that are gonna come and not get to go, our cousins are gonna be here in a couple weeks and they won't get to go on Splash Mountain. It's their first trip down here. And it smells delicious. This is where I used to spend stressful nights stocking. You think we could get on Seven Dwarfs, even though they said the Fast Pass won't work for it? Yeah. Can we try? Sure. Jerome, you know how to make the magic happen. He just let us Fast Pass Seven Dwarfs, and we haven't been on it yet. Thank you. Did you guys know that the animatronics in this cottage are from the original Snow White or Snow White Scary Adventures here that's no longer an attraction? This is surely turning out to be a night of first and we didn't even realize it. We get to walk through the castle for the first time since we moved here. This has been such a, a topsy-turvy kind of night. It started off like real relaxed but like a little upsetting because of the long wait for the travel to Magic Kingdom, but it was beautiful outside, it was cool, it wasn't too hot. And then Splash was down, but cast members make the magic, right? And I love that spot for Happily Ever After. The Halloween cereal soon's out. We are back at the Polynesian, and I think we should do our sign off here. It smells like Disney World. It smells like vacation. Wait, can we just sit in the comfy chair. Oh, we'll do our sign off on this couch. Hold on. There's a comfy couch. There's not a lot of people here, and it smells great. Really quick, hold on. We're waiting to check in. We just checked in. We're waiting for our, our free upgrades to the bungalows. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Talk to us down below because it's lots of fun. It distracts me from my work. I like answer to everybody. Sarah does lots of comments. I just read them. Thank you. And subscribe if you want more of this nonsense.
Because we have a lot of it more. A lot of it more. We have a lot of it. <laughs> more to come. More to come. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>